Hope you're doing well. It's your boy man came and kill it here in Mombasa, Kenya. And today, guys, as you can see behind me, that uh, those are elephants. Elephants are crossing. Even that sign that there shows you guys that the elephants are crossing. So, guys, today, what you're talking about is the Chuda. Right now, I'm in Chuda, and I'm gonna take you around this place, show you how beautiful, how a lot of rich people, especially the young guys, live at this area with a lot of luxurious luxurious apartment so stay tuned as i show you the beautiful chuda chuda is one of the old places in mombasa and today i decided to show you how beautiful this area is you know everyone tells me that every now and then i usually say areas are beautiful but this area man it has very very luxurious apartment not only luxurious apartment but they're located at the border of the sea how beautiful is that man and the people living at this area they're not rich old people but very very young people especially there's something i need to tell you guys any young man who has started earning some cash usually runs to live in Chuda because this area is located near town because you don't need to cross the bridge or there's no traffic for you to go to work it's just you go to your workplace do your thing so this is one of the best area that a lot of young people who especially work in town love coming to this area to live at The other thing that makes a lot of young people come to Chuda or live, to, live in Chuda when they're working in town is that the transport, if you don't have a car, the transport is very affordable. I guess like 30 bob going to town, which is around uh, 30 cents US dollars. Wow. There's a car wash here. wow man as you can see hi hi guys there's those beautiful apartments man whoa i'm new in this area so we're just gonna walk around the road area as you can see here guys this is kenya assembling assemblies of god chuda we have chuda hospital healthcare man right there and there's some beautiful shops here which are still made out of container guy wow and you can see something guys this area is beautiful and it's clean man look at that hospital they have a healthcare so in case if you fall ill there's no need for you to go far away looking for medical assistance wow one of the best thing living in Africa is the fresh fruits. As you can see behind me, there's a guy selling uh, fresh fruits. Only fruits, man. How beautiful is that? Uh, they all come from the shamba. What do you call shamba in English? It's a farm, man. They're very, very organic. Wow. And here we come to our first beautiful apartment, guys. Let me show you. That's not a hotel or that's not a... A place for people to come, Airbnb or whatever you can call it. This is apartment for people who live there, man. I think they are rented, or I guess most of the of the most of the apartment are usually rented. Very few, or some uh, some of the apartment you can buy a floor, you own it. Yeah, I guess so. But wow. Man, beautiful, beautiful sights in front of, of me, man. Let me show you. Wow, man. Look at this, guys. Very clean, very luxurious. I, I just love how uh, they are, they are, the, the fence are not walls, but they are little sisters of the poor. Yumba was there. See that place, guys? If you're old, or if you have somebody who is old and there's no anyone to take care of him 
you can bring him to that place there so what i was saying is that what i really love about that place about tudor it is that people don't construct their fences with wall but they construct their fences with trees like that beautiful flowers man I think right now we are in Chudamwisho. Like what I can see, this is like a junction. There's a lot of matatu here and a lot of plenty people, man. Okay, I don't know which way should I use. Yeah, I guess this place should be called like uh, Chudamwisho or something like that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that apartment. If you, if, you, if you know which area is this guys man just leave a comment leave a comment and comment if you're from Tudor if you're from near Tudor man leave a comment and a like man share it to your friends also by the guys I've done a very nice nice documentary about my trip to Nairobi so if you haven't watched it please please go and watch it and leave a comment it's my first documentary for me to make so please please if I did well just leave a comment if I didn't do well also leave a comment so that I can know what to correct and I'll show I correct it and also I'm planning to do more and more and more uh, documentaries so you guys stay tuned man and here man there's this school called uh, St. Augustine you can see there St. Augustine a lot of my friends have studied here during the primary period I guess it's uh, public yeah, it's, a, it's a government not public it's a government uh, I think there's no difference about public and government so yeah so guys about the documentary make sure you leave a comment Look how quiet. It's just the car's noise. Tudor water spot. Oh my god. Marine car. Yeah. I'll sure I come to this area, but right now you have to pay, I guess. Tudor water sports. Marine restaurant. Marine craft. Okay. There's a shop here you can buy some biscuits, some candies for kids, some sweets also. There's a transformer, meaning you have plenty of supply of power. You're not sharing with other areas. Beautiful apartment, beautiful streets, the roads are really maintained. What else can you ask for? And also something else guys, uh, in Chuda, if you know the Technical University of Mombasa, it's located in Chuda. And if you know Hamisi Boys, it's a high school, a very, very nice school. Uh, it's also located in Chuda. And also there's a secondary called uh, Chuda Day. It's also lo located here in Chuda. So a lot of schools are also here cause this area is very, very conducive. And also this primary called Busy Bee. Yeah, why am I forgetting about this bee? You can see, man, guys. It's like I'm the only one in the road here with my phone as usual. I told you guys very soon I'm going to upgrade to a camera, a very action camera, small camera, so that you, the quality of my videos are going to be uh, the base. Yeah. So. Wow, man, I'm just loving this area. Wow. The, the most thing I love about this area is the greeniness, man. Wow, man. Look 
that's a 10 story building i don't know if you live in that building guys and they're watching my video man it will be very very bad for you not to like or leave a comment and say about anything you get tell us about shooter how is shooter man is it beautiful is it safe so guys we came across this uh sort of a public beach here and let me show you why not take a good look about it look how green it is that is the building that is the road which i was walking um that's the beach so there's a beach guys i don't think if i'm going down Ooh. Wow. Why is my phone not fox focusing? Focus yeah yeah yeah. Wow man, look at how green it is. Ooh. Oh my god. Look at this bro. Ooh, wow. Wow. This is super beautiful man. And also they are cons they have uh, Staircase going down, you can see. Oh my god. And um, that's a Chuda water spot which we saw at the road. And I guess that uh, the other side of. I don't know. But what I know is that side is called Mshomoroni. And the Nyari Bridge is somewhere there. Right there. Wow. What a beauty. What a beauty, man, guys. Living in the coasts. You have plenty of boats there. You can come to the sea anytime you want, man. Guys, this is Chuda, man. If you've ever been in this beach, so make sure you leave a like and leave a comment. Wow. So green man, very very green. Oh. That area there is called Changamwe or yeah, I guess Changamwe man. So soon guys I'm gonna do a video about uh, Mshamoroni then I go to the other side there you see of Changamwe and some top of video also coming soon so I guess it's a, let's guess let's get away from the beach now let's go and continue with the video of Chuda man just love how green this place looks man very very green Anyone who loves uh, nature will love to live in such a place. And this, there is people's houses, man. You can see. And the best thing about living in the coast or any other side of the coast region, not only in Kenya, is that you have access to go to swim for free. You know, like places like Nairobi, you have to pay for a swimming pool go to an apartment or a hotel with a swimming pool so that you can swim ah no we prefer in mombasa totally free man totally free man totally free totally free so let's continue the video oh yeah poor no those guys told me that there's a beach there. I was like, oh man, I didn't know there was a beach. And here we are outside with our beautiful big apartment as usual. Oh man. I really love Chuda. 
And also, guys, I wanted to talk to you about the security in this area, man. Also, guys, I wanted to talk to you about the security, man. This place is very, very safe. As far as I know, there's no weird incidents that occur in this area, man. Wow. 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 Lexus, guys. Oh, my God. If you thought I was lying about you, people with money live in this area, man. And also, guys, more construction. Still constructed, you can see, man. There's a road right there. There's an apartment down there to the beach. Another one still constructed. There's this one here, beautiful, which is already finished. Oh, man. What else do you require about a place? If a place is peaceful, uh, it is not noisy. The roads are nice. You have a beach where you can go and relax. And a lot of stuff, man. You can see the road is ooh, nice. And also one thing which I've noted about this area is that all the flats or all the apartments or tall buildings are not less than eight story buildings. Yeah. Or eight floors. I don't know if you can call it eight floors or what. They are all more than eight floors. And I guess the rule of Kenya is that they should all have a uh, uh, lift, yeah. So it means if you love high, if you love living in high places, you can rent or buy the top floor, cause you are assured to have the lift, man. Wow, man! Look at this pure beauty. Wow! I need to cross. To guys look at this look at this building behind me i don't know what it is wow 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 it's so beautiful man i don't know what it is but i just admire it wow let me take a photo of it Oh my god, pure beauty. Pure beauty, man. Look at where I'm walking at. There's this beautiful tree here. Another one there. You know, in Mombasa, it's uh, sometimes it's very, very hot. So it means that if you get yourself a nice apartment with an ocean view, with a cool breeze, Oh my god, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. So, that's one of the benefits of living in such areas like this one. You see, they don't allow things like motorcycles to pass or tuk-tuks. So they put the um, restriction there so that only bicycles and... Bicycles and... Uh, okay, I need to, I'm to just run. Bicycles only and people. Actually, guys, I don't know where I am right now. I'm just walking, hoping that this road will lead me to 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 Buxton. If you know Buxton, do you know Buxton? I don't know, and I don't give a damn. <laughs> There's a mosque here, but on the other side, it's a beautiful building. I love the paint. Is it maroon, black, and gray? I guess so. And we come to the school which I was talking about, called uh, Tudor, no, called Amisi, 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 Amisi Boys. This is the school which I was talking about. Ooh. There's a Madafu here, guys, so I guess I'm gonna get a Madafu. Baby? Baby? It's nose one. Yeah. It's not good. Huh? I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Yeah. Moja, but. Yeah. 
<laughs> Not bad, man. Very, very tasty. Mm. So refreshing. I didn't want to buy water, so I got myself. It's only 50 bob, which uh, is uh, around half a dollar. Yeah. Some more salty, but tasty at the same time. Mm. Man, that was so refreshing, man. After after walking for a very long time, I really needed uh, the the water. And look at that sign, man. That's called the Missy High School. And opposite, there is, there is a Technical University of Mombasa. I'm gonna show you the main gate ahead. Wow, that was so nice. It was so tasty. But I don't know, uh, it had some salty taste. Yeah, I'm not complaining, it was, it was, something, it was something nice. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Here we go. That's the tomb. The famous tomb of Mombasa, which is Technical University of Mombasa Currently I see the students are going out man I think the lesson is over And this is the busy bee which I was talking about So I guess I'm almost Coming at the end of the video When you see the tomb there that means my my tour or the tour is almost over so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video man it wasn't in vain for me to walk all this way but I really explored a lot man there's some areas which I didn't know that they exist especially like the, uh, the beach Man, I don't know about the sun. The sun is behind me. close. We need it. We need to cross the road. Wow. There's a lot of mini, uh, there's a lot of mini restaurants here, like this one here, Arama Restauranto. And one of the best things about these restaurants is that they cook the local foods of Mombasa. Guys, the funny thing with Shuda is that everything has a view, even a medical center. You can see a Palm View Medical Center. Okay, if you love hospitals with views. You got one there, man. You got one which you can go, get the best room. So uh, you're getting some treatment. You, you have some nice views. The most of the people who are seeing walking along this road are students, of the Technical University of Mombasa. Yeah. Ooh, my cap. 
guys this roundabout which you're seeing here to connect this shooter with the main road there which is the Saba Saba one which you can go to the Saba Saba or go connect the Pakistan Junction go to the Nyali Bridge or go to to the town center yeah but I'm not gonna use that road because there is a shortcut here the road ahead This road which uh, the tuk-tuk has come from takes you to the Nyali Bridge but if you want me to do a video about the Nyali Bridge leave a comment Okay, let me cross the road and go and get some Mararu Ooh. These are houses which are uh, constructed here at the back stand of the, the old houses were demolished So, woo Let's be careful while crossing this road. Woo. Perfect. This is the Buxton Junction. Perfect. We just crossed, man. The, uh, this is the back stand. Man, I don't know about the lighting, guys, but we have come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And it's bye bye from your boy. Catch you in my next one.